So I woke up today and Rylan said, Ugh, why is Chris doing this to me? And I was what? Like, oh You're going to start happened? drama like this? What did I do? This yes. is unauthorized. What did I do? Oh my God. Chris is a mastermind and he's <laughs> creating games, psychological, like jigsaw torture games with us. I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is crazy. We actually talked about this a few years ago and I never posted the video because I was scared okay. of getting sued. See you, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you guys look so good. You did it, Shane. I look insane. <laughs> you. Because you were busy costume directing for everyone else. Right. But wow, this looks like I paid for a meet and greet. <laughs> like I'm yeah. eating all my things. <laughs> you did so good. Sandy and I almost left you guys to go to Disneyland because we got so excited. I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll probably get a job offer to you to, to go on their oh parade. <gasps> um, okay, yeah, so let's talk about what we are right now. This, I can't. <laughs> This is so crazy. <laughs> I just feel so blessed. Um, okay, let's start over here. So Sandy, you are the most beautiful Snow White I've ever seen. Oh, when you walked stunning. out, I was like, Ugh. When you walked out and that, head, what is that I, mean, I think it's this. And what I, is it called? Hater blocker. Well, <laughs> when she came out with that hater blocker, I lost my breath. I'm going to put this on all of my clothes from now on. Just like, yeah. Yes. And no, That'd ladies and gentlemen, move. that's not a wig. That's the real deal. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. Wow, yeah, so you, beautiful. You do look so cute. Thank, <laughs> you thank came out. You. It was, yeah. And then we have Jared. Yeah. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. We That's, took some pictures yeah. before this outside, and they're some of the most iconic pictures I've ever taken. It's a very flattering outfit. <laughs> you know, I recently uh, started Weight Watchers, <laughs> and being in this outfit, looking at myself, I mean, before this, I was evaluating in the bathroom whether I had to fart or poop. Oh. Right. So I was looking in the mirror, like, kind of doing it, and I was like, wow, I never thought I'd be in a Buzz Lightyear outfit evaluating like a wet fart, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is different. This is a different time right now. I like it. The Weight selling watchers. point of that costume for me is the blow up wings. Oh my gosh. It, oh yeah. I feel like a kid on the first day of school that wouldn't go unless he could wear his favorite costume. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. I like yeah. it. Um, Chris, you are storybook prince, uh, unauthorized. <laughs> I'm like the royalty free. Yes. Like. <laughs> but you look so good. Look at you. Thank you. Yeah, I love that. We talked about this last time, but there's something about a wig. It just like really changes everything. You did say you were like, whenever you're playing somebody else on the podcast, you really come out of your shell. That's interesting. That Yes. I Well, I don't know. It's weird. It's I don't know if it's sad or not, but there's something about when I'm in a costume, the less I feel like myself, the the more I can like be somebody else. I'm you are such a drag More queen. confident and more happy. I don't know. I'm a very insecure person, so. That didn't make me sad. I think it has that oh. effect on, I mean, uh, yes, I think, but I think it has that effect on everyone. And I can't wait for the day you'll let us make you into a woman. <gasps> because you, you will that. feel woman ever. so empowered and We'll see a side of you, quite frankly, that we've never seen before. <laughs> so, little Miss Queen over here, looking hey, like an bitches. OnlyFans Cinderella. I'm Cinderella. <laughs> her slipper. I'll squirt for $10. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's I a mean, cheap squirt. The, uh, <laughs> I can do it daily. <laughs> you can subscribe <laughs> monthly for the ten. You had a cheap squirt in the bathroom, huh? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> um, God, I can't stop looking at your boobs. Those are the best investment we've ever made. Very good. They're yeah. so real. And you know what? They're the second investment we've made. We've had to buy two of these bad boys. What? The last time I bought—did I talk about this already on the podcast? The last time I bought a pair on Amazon uh, affiliate link, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I bought a pair of those boobs, and they came. Like, Unboxed with cum, cum and pubic hair all over them. Oh, gross. is that crazy? Yeah, what? that's pretty crazy. And then I went to the reviews, and all the reviews were like, "Mine were used, mine were there used." There does no. need to be a better Ugh. system for like vetting Amazon sellers because I've even bought like cameras and stuff off Amazon that claim they're new, but they're definitely like refurbished and shitty. Wait, yeah. When you buy something on Amazon, it could be someone shipping it to yes. you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. People can That's sell like, things on Amazon from their house. Mm -hmm. I thought people did like drop shipping. Oh. And so like, after like Shane and I experiment shit. in the bedroom with these boobs, I'm selling them on Amazon. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on how you pitch it. If you tell people. Right. You know? Well, and the, the good thing is it's really easy with Amazon. All I did was put those cummy, hairy boobs back in a box and I took it to Whole Foods and they accepted it. 
Yes. This wow. And now they're off to somewhere else. That's See, so easy. I thought, <laughs> I thought that you just return it. They don't even bother to look at it. No. So then they just ship it off yeah. to somebody else. It's so was like, that <laughs> easy. Sisterhood of the Traveling Titties. They have a story. Um, yeah. uh, I know. I, I keep you. trying to pull these up without giving you nip, but like <laughs> right. giving you something to look at. Wow. The photos of you guys. We took some pictures in front of the G-Wagon of you guys, like you helping her out. I almost car. left Shane for Chris just because of how magical these photos are. <laughs> I think, oh, please. I think I now know what love is after today. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy. Chris did get hard and I didn't, I wasn't going to say anything, but so we I were doing like the prom pictures yeah. where he was like back to back and I was yeah. like, my husband's right there, Chris. We said don't mention it on the podcast. Have you ever <laughs> held a boob? <laughs> I mean, yes, I have. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but they weren't though. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Um, I'm Eeyore. I think you're so- my, I love Eeyore. My costumes didn't work out. I ordered like three different costumes and none of them fit. And this was the only one that kind of fit. Um, so yeah, I'm Eeyore. He's really depressed. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Fuck my life. Not much of a house. Just right for not much of a donkey. The way that you said you're Eeyore was very Eeyore of yeah. you. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> oh no, this is going to bring up my inner Eeyore. Oh. Um, okay, can we talk about Weight Watchers a little bit more? Please. So tell me about this about journey. Okay. Why did you start specifically Weight Watchers? Yeah, what, what led were your... you to that program over something else? Well, we really tried everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just the, the level of, it's gonna be hard to make this not sound like a bitch. And it could be, it could be. Not sponsored. It could be, it could be in the future. But no, it's just easy. They got an app on your phone. If it's easy, that does that like yield results? Well, I think, well, I think the easy. other apps, like you have to actually calculate your like calories and all of that. And I think right now we just wanted it to be like, we just want something easy, put in our foods. And, and, and yeah. also it's just like, if I'm hungry and I'm thinking I want a cheeseburger. Right. And it uses all my points. Mm. It changes the desirability of that cheeseburger. Dang, is right? Because because now because now it's like, yeah. well, if I get a chicken sandwich, mm. then I can get a small fry. Or if I get the chicken sandwich option without this shit on it, then later I can have this. It's like right. so it actually makes you really analyze the decisions you're making. Mm. Like yesterday. I had 80 points. I was you, supposed to have I like 40, you know? Oh. <laughs> and you have a weekly allotment of points, so I went through all of them. And, uh, <laughs> you know, today I was cautious of it. Today I'm, I have like five points left. So, yeah. <laughs> and I think when you're eating healthier and not just wanting fast <laughs> food, so I think it like does help you. Like even if you're eating healthy foods, like you don't really think about how much butter or like oil yes. or like things like that really. Just making Wait, we got to count all that? Yeah. <laughs> I think you Uh-oh. just sold me because I, no, I'm serious. I was shirtless today because it was so hot and I was building cribs. I walk outside and I look down. And I'm like, fuck, Shane, I got to figure out, like, because it's rapid, you know? It yeah. happens so quick. It's kind of funny that Cinderella was building cribs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. She put me to work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, really quick, Chris. Yes. You said that you went to the ER. Oh yeah, talking about losing weight, I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> wow! <laughs> because oh, I got a serious infection in my general organs and ended up in the emergency room. <laughs> what? what? How did I this happen know. between seeing you? Uh, this was right before my Chicago trip. I'm so, picturing like a like cyst a situation. No, so what happened, what, they were very vague about it, but I was feeling very, very sick. And this <laughs> one- <laughs> What, what was that? <laughs> Perfect throw. It was a perfect throw. We're talking about the emergency room and you're throwing fucking mirrors. I was trying to give him a mirror to fix his hair. I'm sorry. That's like the third most dangerous thing you could probably throw at somebody. And if we broke that mirror, come on. We're doing well right now. I don't need that. I don't need it. If I look at that mirror and it's broken, I'm going to break you. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry. what boobs will do to them, you know? They get a nice set of boobs. Um, Yeah. So basically, I wasn't feeling well. I kept feeling feeling worse uh, and then I was like I was like I, I for some reason if I have stomach aches I'll lay in like a hot bath and that helps for some reason so I was laying there in like a warm bath and it wasn't helping and it just kept getting worse and I yelled to my boyfriend because I wasn't feeling well he ran over and like saw me and he was like are you okay and I'm like no and he's like you don't look good and I'm like I feel like I'm gonna pass out and then I don't remember anything I'm waking up and I'm on the floor of the bathroom I guess he like pulled me out of the bathtub and I passed out and I woke up and he's on the phone. He's like, no, he passed out. And he started seizuring is what, what? I hear when I wake up. And I'm like, 
what's happening? And everything's like just coming to. And I'm like, I really don't feel, and I, I can't breathe. I can't catch my breath and I'm shaking. And I'm like, what is happening? And then he's like, I'm going to call an ambulance for you. And I remember being like, no! the last time I had an ambulance, it took me like is 10 it like years 20 grand to or 10 grand? Something insane like that. And I was on a payment plan for 10 years. So I was like, please just call an Uber or take me. Don't call an ambulance, please. Like as At I'm least dying. An Uber XL. And so he like basically carries me to the car and like, floors it to the hospital. We go to the emergency room and I'm talking to the woman behind the counter and she's like, when's your date of birth? And I'm like, I think I'm dying. And she's like, well, "Do we need to confirm your address and your this. And I'm like, my address. And then I pass out again. And then I wake up and I'm in the hospital this time. I guess if you pass out, you skip the line, by the way. <laughs> and so now I'm in the hospital, wake up and they're like, everyone, Chief there's like four trick. doctors above me. <laughs> and, and they were like, oh, we, we may need to do surgery. And I was like, what is what I hear? And they like rushing me off and they're like, maybe appendicitis and, and they do a brain scan and a stomach scan and they were like, your appendix is uh, enlarged, so it may be appendicitis and they go and talk and figure it out or whatever and they're like, well, it's a little enlarged, we think you're okay for now, so we won't do a surgery, but I'm like panicking I don't want surgery and like, uh, I don't know it's just all very scary and then they're like, we think because like in general you're like stomach, your appendix and like several organs are inflamed and so we think you just have like some kind of like intense infection and I was like, what? And they were like, so we're going to give you in your like IV, like an antibiotic now and then like an antibiotic to take home. And so for like two weeks, I took an antibiotic and I feel better. Have you been back to get it checked out to see? No, I have an appointment tomorrow to like follow up and stuff, but I, I haven't been normal since. Like I'm better, but not fully. Why did you seizure? I don't know. I don't know why I seizured. I don't know why I passed out. They said all all the infection, they think, but they also don't seem sure about what it is. So I don't know. I'm dying. So. Maybe it's because you stopped eating crumbles. I think that's... <laughs> I did stop eating crumbles. That's the only logical explanation. Because crumbles was keeping your guts good. Yes. Does right. crumbles have, like, good probiotics in it? <laughs> <laughs> they probably so question. Should. They should. <laughs> yeah. When I eat crumbles, I'm always on the edge of a seizure. <laughs> Every time. All the oh crumbles caught up to me. Yes, that's what it was. Oh, Yuck. okay. I hate to do this right after you share such a vulnerable story that we're all very concerned and worried and praying. Hashtag pray for Chris. Oh, I love you guys. No, seriously, I'm so sorry. This isn't network yeah. television. <laughs> Hashtag pray for, for Chris. Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Get it trending. Um, but I do have some beef to start. Oh, why? Um, this actually involves you and Ryland. Oh, <gasps> why? So I woke up today and Ryland said, Ugh, why is Chris doing this to me? And I what? was like, oh You're my gonna God, start what drama like this? What did I do? This yes. is unauthorized. What did I do? What changed? No, You're what wild. did I do? <laughs> You're wild. Oh, no. Talk Shane! about hot What did I do? Oh my God. What did I do? Shane. Let me set the scene. So I wake up, I walk in the kitchen. I'm like, oh wow, starting my day, popping a pill. And Ryan is just like, why is Chris doing this to me? Ugh, he's trying to kill me. He's driving me crazy. Why is he doing this? And I was like, oh my God, drama. What's happening? Like, what's going on, Chris? And this then he is goes, way more traumatized. <laughs> no, it's not. So then, oh, he, no. so then he goes, every time Chris comes here, he makes a glass of tea. <laughs> <laughs> this, he by hides the way, it. No, hold on. Okay. This is the most, I'm, this I'm is the the most my insane oh, thing oh, ever. Oh, it is pretty crazy. crazy. And it's, I want to understand it. It's right off. It's like <laughs> insane. And I'm just saying, if you don't remember in previous episodes, I said my, like, my pet peeve like does is inconsequential, but just drives me through oh, the wall no. is when like people go in our kitchen and leave the cupboards right. open. Which Chris does not do. No, but this is the equivalent. Okay. No, I, I know. So, I know so what you're talking like, about already. Chris oh, makes no. a cup of tea and then doesn't drink it. And then he hides, hides it behind. He hid one behind a picture frame. <laughs> behind a cookie jar, behind our like bulldog, our French bulldog, behind the statue. toaster, like and wait, so, like, wait, like a wait. like a Big Brother oh, here, challenge, no, 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 like here's find the, the tea. And I know like he's hiding, he's like putting it like in inconvenient places so that people won't be like, oh, that's my tea and drinking it. But Chris, it's a hundred degrees. No. no one's mistaken. <laughs> no, 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 nobody no. else in this house is making Please tea. Please explain no. this. Like, I you don't have to hide home. it from us. I'm and so full. When I find them, they're full. I'm Not so one sip. 
I'm so glad we we're talking about this because that water bottle was definitely his because it was hidden. <laughs> it was hidden behind the pillow. <laughs> Chris left the water bottle. And he hid it behind a pillow in okay, the living room. Okay, that wasn't me. And then I was like, "Oh, Chris, is this your water bottle?" You're like, "No, no, it's a that was bright okay, orange Chris, water bottle." Come clean about your tea. What's going on? No, so the tea. This I know exactly what this is. Okay. I so it started because every time I leave an open drink out in the past, I'll turn around and your cat's drinking out of my tea <laughs> every single time. And so I'm like, "What do I do to keep oh, your cat no, from drinking?" That makes sense. So I started putting it in weird spots where the cats won't okay, find so it. It's a game now for them. And, 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 and so I'm always trying to hide it from the. And I have like five cups of tea, by the way. I have like several. That's in a why row. your guts are so good. Because I'm freezing. <laughs> Whenever we start, I'm always like freezing. Okay, so, so that explains. I'm so disappointed. I, I drink a bunch of tea. Well. And but then like we always go to film, and he's like, "Are the cameras ready?" And then I'm like, "Oh!" And I forget about everything, and I run in here, right. and then I completely forget, and I'm okay. so sorry. Here's the thing, though. I think it's cute, and I love it. <laughs> so I would like you to keep doing it. No. And, and do well, multiple. No, it's not even Because that his reaction was so funny. Because well, I was morning. like, he's fucking with me. Like, he, it's no. hidden. <laughs> it's like, it's full tea and it's hidden. I was like, what? Does he want me to go mad? No, but the water bottle I wouldn't have had to hide because there's a lid, so I wouldn't have even but thought least, of that. Chris is a mastermind, and no. he's creating games, psychological, like, jigsaw torture games with us. Well, at least he and had real it. rebuttals because I was like... True. He's drinking tea and it's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> He's leaving it full and hiding it. But it's like, okay, the cats. And Shane does make it an, a yes. freezer. It's I'll be more cats. cognizant of it too now. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Hey, sorry to interrupt the show. Please don't go anywhere. I have something very important to tell you guys. It is spoopy season. If you don't know what the word spoopy is, honestly, neither do I. Who started that? God, 2009 was wild. <laughs> Anyways, it's spoopy season, and so I was thinking, you know, I'm gonna make these ads a little spookier. And for somebody who is very introverted and terrified of crowds, there is nothing spookier than a concert. <laughs> but you know what? This season, I'm stepping outside of my comfort level. I wanna go do more things. I wanna go have more fun. And you know where I can find just the place to do all that? on SeatGeek. So if you guys don't already know, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app in the world. With over 28 million downloads and 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek. I mean, they have concerts, sports, festivals. It's not just concerts or big arenas. Pretty much anything you can think of, comedy shows, like anything you can think of is on SeatGeek. And guess what? You can get the cheaper seats with me. They take all the tickets across the internet and they put them in one place. And they do something that is very, very cool. They rate everything from one to 10. So if you look on their app, you go to a concert, and you're checking out the seats, anything with a red dot means no, too spooky, don't go there, way too overpriced. Anything with a green dot means oogie boogie approved. These are good tickets, this is a good price. See how I'm working in all my spooky season lingo? I'll stop. Also, every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. So whether you want to see Lana Del Rey, the Jonas Brothers, SZA, they're all on tour right now, and you don't want to miss it. Rylan uses SeatGeek all the time. He has gone to 10 Taylor Swift shows? <laughs> I don't know. It's spooky how much he's gone. And every time he uses SeatGeek, and he gets great options for it. He literally was on, like, the floor, like, right in front of her. Like, she was standing right there. So yeah, I love SeatGeek. They're a great company, and me and my family use them often. So please go check out SeatGeek. I will leave the link in the description below and use code GROWER at checkout for $20 off of your tickets. That's code GROWER for $20 off of your tickets. And if you just want to go over there and check out the concerts and see like where the craziest prices are and who has the most red dots, it's a fun game. All right, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, I'll stop. Well, speaking of Chris and his weird little fact, I think we have a German fact. Oh, yes. Okay. He's half German. He's so bright. He's a factual delight. Are you ready for some fun? German facts with Chris. Um, since you two are having uh, kinder children, yeah, both kinder. of you, uh, I figured uh, this is a good fact. It's appropriate, yeah. So uh, the government in Deutschland, in Germany, uh, can and will r reject weird baby names. What? Yeah. So if in, in Deutschland, if you come up with a name that the government says this is too far, they uh, it's illegal. They will uh, say no and you cannot. In America, you can name your kids whatever you want. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, they clearly don't have celebrities It's there. insane, whatever. But in Deutschland... You don't have celebrities? Well, I'm saying because it's all the, <laughs> cele it's we have all the celebrities Waltz. that name their kids the weirdest things. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but according, according to German law, a person's gender must be obvious by first name. So the civil registration office or Stansman can refuse names that don't comply. 
and you have to reapply, and it's a whole thing. So, like, if, like you. If, you, if you name your name, like, Frank Zappa, like, you know, or, like, something, like, you know, a celebrity name or something, we, they're like, no. Uh, do, are there no pronouns What about, Germany? like, I don't Kim. Know. What if your name is Kim? Not very woke of them. I think Kim's fine. To be fair, I, I have to, like, double check on, like, how new this is and if any of this changed recently, but it says that no gender neutral names, no last names as a first name, no, like, no objects as a name, <gasps> um, no names of, like, a product. Like, so you can't have, like, I don't know, Dasani be a name. Do you know what I mean? You can't. Ooh, yeah, like, that's a good name. <laughs> and, and, oh my uh, God, that's rich. And no names that can negatively affect the child's well being or lead to humiliation. Wow, good, fat, <laughs> weird fact. Uh, that's yeah. kind of scary. If you're non binary, stay in America, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. You just have an itch to move to Germany, maybe yeah. not. My, my uncle from Deutschland is coming down very soon. I will double check this fact with you. Ooh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Okay, so now to my favorite part of the show, my second favorite besides German facts, uh, is viewers. Uh, interaction. You came up with a name for this and I already forgot it. It was vagina. <laughs> Viewers are great. I need another. I, don't, I forgot what it was, but it was like. Viewer interaction. AKA vagina. Okay. So, for, so first we got, which by the way, we have some good voicemails today. We'll get to that. Nice. First, we have an email from Mackenzie. So the email subject was from Hot Topic to Killer Merch. And she sent two pictures. So on the left is wow. from 2011 when she was 12. And that's my Hot Topic shirt. Oh my God. I remember that shirt. And then she's wearing a farmer's shirt. Oh, look how good she looks. And now she's 25, so from 12 to 25. That's insane. Wow. wow. What? I should die. I'm so old. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we have Marissa. She said, repping you all at work. And this is her holding her conspiracy. Oh, yeah. oh my God. What and it matches, queen. it matches her outfit. I know. <laughs> okay, the next email we got was from Sophie, a.k.a. a lesbian grower. She called herself that. Nice. Um, she said uh, for her birthday, her mom surprised her with some merch, and she took a little video. And this is her. Look at her excited. Uh, Opening up her mouth. I love these. Why are you recording? Oh. Because you said you wanted something and I just want to see your reaction. Oh, this puppy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mom. Is this what you wanted? You're this is what you wanted. <laughs> this is so That's cute. So cute. You're her face is so cute. And then here's a picture of her wearing it, which is so cute. And her mom in the background, like, I don't know what I bought or who the fuck that guy is, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad my daughter's happy. So that wow. is so cute. Uh, okay. And then the next Very one was from cool. Iza. Uh, she said she was at a local thrift store and she found the dress. <gasps> she was considering mailing it to us. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the picture of the dress she found. I don't care. <laughs> okay, what color is that? Blue. Black and blue. Yeah, blue and black. But that also looks nothing like the dress. Yeah, it really doesn't. Like in any way, the stripes or any of it. Even the top, right? Like none of it looks right. <laughs> Blue and black. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited because this is a new segment that was given to us by Madison. Hey, Madison. Um, okay, this is called sibling or dating. So I've never heard of this, but this I guess is a trend on you know Reddit or something where people post pictures of two people and you have to guess, are they siblings or are they dating? And she said, I've been looking for something like this. <laughs> I've been looking for something like this. Like okay, that. so uh, she said, hey Shane, it's Maddie. Um, so I have an idea for the podcast. You guys should do sibling or dating. People can submit them to your email, stuff at gmail.com. And you guys have to guess if they're dating or siblings. So here she goes, I want to be the first. <laughs> so here we go. This is Madison and a man. Do we think they are siblings or dating? I love this game. Oh, this is funny. This is um, hard. I'm going to say dating. How would you know? I'm going to say siblings. I'm going to say dating. Because I don't see where his hand... Oh, the hand's on the back. Oh, oh, oh we're back. Oh. Zoom in. And I think, too, in. the way she's, like, pressing up against And him she's like facing that. her leg, like, toward towards him. him. I think this is wow. a really cute family, and they just really like. Really? No, they're just you know, a family like, of models. I'm saying like one of the families that like it's like Thanksgiving, and they want a picture, and you know. Hmm. She just knows that? how to strike a pose. You're saying? I'm gonna say siblings. Uh, you know, I'm gonna say siblings too, because I want to say dating, but they just look so like I feel like this. We're set up for this. I think that's what I'm saying. Like, are there people that are trying to like take pictures to mm -hmm. fool people? Right. I think Maybe. dating, but like only like three months, you know, like it's oh, new. Oh, specific. <laughs> I think sibling. I trust Sandy. <laughs> I trust Sandy. Well, let's see. Okay. Oh my God, I got the answer. Are you ready? Yes. 
Madison and that man are dating. Wow. Oh. I'm happy because that'd need be it. weird if they were siblings. <laughs> I'm glad, I know. glad I'm wrong. Um, yeah, so send us your sibling or dating pictures. That is very fun. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's jump into some voicemails. Yes. Hey guys, first off, Shane Dawson, I love you so much. I have followed you since your Vine days and have not stopped. Um, and Chris, I love you too so much. Everyone on this podcast is amazing. Anyways, I have an issue. I just got a new boss, and long story short, she's just a bitch. She's very <laughs> condescending. She talks to me like I'm stupid, and it's not just me, it's everyone. And I've asked several people how to handle this. I don't know if I should kill her with kindness or professionally tell her, hey, I'm not going to tolerate the way that you speak to me or anyone else. So I really just don't know which route to go and was wondering if you could give me some advice. Again, love the podcast and everyone on it so much. Thank you. Hmm. Jared, I feel like you have good advice on this. Well, first off, um, it's always good to consider the source. You know, this could just be an unhappy, like miserable person that's right. just being a bitch or whatever you were saying she's acting like. I don't know what the job is, anything like that, but the best thing to do is just ignore it and only interact as much as you need to. You know, like that's what I would say. Cause nothing you say that you try to, even if you kindly try to say something like stop, they're not gonna take that in, in a good way. Right. It's probably gonna lead to like an uncomfortable situation. I would just only interact as much as you need and it's your boss. You don't need to be friends with your boss, mm. you know? Like, at least you get to get out of work and you don't have to think about it. That's what I would say. Yeah, well, I was just recently had a situation at work where I felt like that tension with your, a coworker and mm. um, another coworker told me, you know, look, all you gotta do is just do what you are able to do, do your job, you know? and. And at the end of the day, if they're still having an issue, then just know that that's on them because right. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. Um, and if they're going through their own issue, then they need to figure that out. I think back, I definitely have had a few uh, asshole bosses. <laughs> Me and Jared used to work in the same building, like the same company, basically. And we had a boss who was, oh my gosh, rough. Um, and we, I would try the kill him with kindness thing. I would always I'd be like, oh my God, we like, oh, what are you doing this weekend? Or uh, like, oh, like trying to, inside jokes, like trying to make her like me. And she never would. And it would bother me so much. I'm like, oh my gosh, why doesn't she like me? And then I was talking to my therapist, if you keep, shout out to my therapist. I was talking to my therapist uh, a few years ago. And I was like, yeah, this person, not about the boss, but about somebody else in my life. I'm like, this person just like, they, I don't know why they hate me. Like, they just hate me, they hate me. And then she's like, why do you care so much? Why are you trying to get this person who hates you to like you? Why are you trying to control how they feel about you? That's because you're controlling. And I was like, oh. So yeah, don't do the kill them with kindness thing because honestly, it comes off as passive aggressive and they'll hate you more. <laughs> I've had a boss that hates me and more than just like being annoying, they just didn't like me yeah. and it sucks. But I think the healthiest thing you can do is just set the healthiest boundaries you can without affecting how your job is and try to limit your interactions with them. What if it just becomes unbearable though? Then you start looking for new jobs. <laughs> oh, I would say yeah. if you are concerned that it's too much, you should go to your HR department. Oh, right. You know what advice. I mean? Like, and, if, and they'll take care of it. I agree with that. Boom. Did I spook you? This crusty old face. <laughs> but you know what's not a jump scare? My hair, thanks to Hair Story. See what I did there? <laughs> yes, Hair Story, I've talked about them so many times. If you haven't tried it yet, please trust me. I know, you're like, Shane, why would I trust you as far as anything style related or <laughs> health and wellness related? Well, let me explain to you why. Because Hair Story's new wash has changed my hair. I used to be so insecure and nervous about my hair. I wouldn't want to leave the house because I'd be like, oh, it's too floofy, it's too gross. Now, just by using new wash and letting my hair air dry, it's like styled and smooth and fresh and it doesn't feel oily and gross. It really has changed my hair and given me so much confidence that I desperately needed. So if you don't already know, New Wash is a cleansing cream. You use it in the shower the same way that you would use shampoo, except it's not shampoo because shampoo has bad stuff in it, which is crazy. I did not know that until recently. Like the reason that they tell you like only wash your hair once or twice a week is because shampoo has so many chemicals in it. It's stripping your hair. So you're not supposed to use it that much. Well, New Wash, you can use as much as you want because all the ingredients are natural and great. There's no weird chemicals. There's nothing harsh. And it saves you money in steps because you don't have to use shampoo. You don't have to use conditioner. It's a one and done. Thank you, daddy. What? <laughs> 
So please, if you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. Also on their website, they have other products. They have the silicone brush thing that I use in the shower to get the new wash through my hair. All the packaging of new wash is biodegradable and it really has changed my hair. So I really want you guys to try it. Please give it a try. So if you want to check it out, go to hairstory.com and use code GROWER to enjoy 20% off exclusive savings when you try new wash for yourself. That's hairstory.com, use code GROWER and you can get 20% off. So thank you, Hair Story, for making it easier for me to leave the house. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully you guys give it a try. Okay, bye, enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, so this next one, well, I'll just let you guys listen. Okay, so um, I need some advice. My boyfriend is a little PG-13, so my boyfriend gifted me a butt plug, and I used it, and then the next time we were going to use it, he asked if I could use it on him. So I was, an un I was uncomfortable with that, so I let him use it himself. And that continued to happen for maybe a week in a row. Um, my advice is, or my question is, um, should I be worried? Because <laughs> he seems to like it way more than I do. Thank you. I just like how it was PG-13 <laughs> and went right into butt plug. Like, I, I, I don't know if butt plug rides the line of PG-13 or R, you know? Like, it's funny. I've learned after uh, really diving into pegging, just because a man likes his ass stimulated does not mean he's gay. But no, I am saying like maybe he didn't know how to comfortably bring this up to you, so right. he bought the bug, butt plug for you. Yes. When in reality, that oh. was how he was introducing the topic for himself. Mm. And I don't necessarily think it means your man's gay right. if no. he wants his no. ass stimulated. But I think you do have to have an open dialogue with him about what that means for him and your relationship if you want to stay like healthy without letting your well, mind wander. Okay, here's my question. Why do you know about it? What do you mean? Is he taking the butt plug and going, be back in 20? Like, is he telling I, I you he's gonna go use it? Maybe just within the sexual, cause you could just stick a butt plug in and keep it moving. You yeah. think he's yeah, plugged up while they're doing it? I, I think I, you probably, plugged, dude. Maybe incorporating it, it somehow. I mean, I don't yeah. see why not. <laughs> the only I, concern I have is hygienic. Like, right. maybe they should have their own butt plugs, you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it sounds like he does have his own butt plug. I think he <laughs> bought that for himself. My, okay, my advice would be tell him to keep, you know, listen, maybe keep it to himself. If he wants to go plug up and that well, makes no. you uncomfy, he, he doesn't it, have to tell you. No, but, he wants it inside of their sexual experiences. No, she said he takes it alone and it's been a week of him doing plugs. Up. But her, because she said, I'm worried. The worry is that he's maybe possibly gay or something, right? Is, is that, that the is worry? That, I think is that so. the yeah. worry? I, he That's doesn't worry. have to be gay. He has a prostate in his butt, yeah. so he probably He could likes be, it. though. I'm not saying he it's off be. the table. Right, right, right. But I'm saying you need to just well, have an honest conversation about it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It sounds like they're just dating, right? I mean, this is yeah. like, is this well, the old I, relationship? I agree or? with Rylan. I think regardless if they're dating or in marriage or whatever, I think that if. I believe you. I think that he probably, this is something he wanted to do and he didn't know how to introduce it another way. And I think that as long as they have an open conversation about it, I think it should be fine. Yeah, you know, yeah. I agree. And I think if you're the kind of person also that feels like they're open sexually, who knows what you might be into in like mm. six months. So don't judge what he's doing. I don't know if that's what the concern is. I, I, I don't know. Right. Well, I do think it was her experiences with him. And I do understand how that can at first be eye-opening because now you might have to be performing something that might not be comfortable for you oh, because yeah. it right. is making the woman in like a more of a dominant position. Maybe right. just compromise and say, hey, 80% will do the regular way <laughs> and then 20% like we'll test it out, you know? Right. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope that helped. <laughs> oh, yes! I wouldn't have a butt plug, maybe. Uh, not. <laughs> Give it a try. Well, thank <laughs> you, Sam. Sam's pushed it before. I didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jared went too far. <laughs> do the buttons. Do the buttons. <laughs> what? I mean. <laughs> I'm just curious if you were to do it. Not that we would actually do it. It's just for fun. But I think that's nice of you yeah. to want to further his. Is my husband gay? <laughs> is my husband gay? Honestly, but this is like quite the opposite. Sure. This is Sandy is asking. Gay? It's a little different than the guy being like. <laughs> Babe, fuck me, fuck me, babe. But it was just like, hey, can I like say something in your butt? And I think because I know the answer is no, I just ask him even more, you know, just to 
Do you know what's Get funny? them all riled up. I have three married female friends who really want to do butt stuff with their husbands, and they won't let them. They all do. I know friends that do. <laughs> but they, these ones don't let them. I mean, it's very good for the guy. That's what I hear. Mm-hmm. Feels so, good. Well, there you go. <laughs> Feels good. Well, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> curious what these straight men's assholes are like. <laughs> uh, speaking of things that taste uh, like ass. <laughs> What a segue, <laughs> <laughs> uh, We are doing Conspiracy Kitchen. Um, okay, so I have some items that... Gotta log um, into my Weight Watchers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so obviously we're gonna do something pumpkin related. Pumpkin spice season is here. But before we get to the pumpkin spice of it all, I have something that I found that I cannot believe exists. So this is so weird. This is Pepsi s'mores collection so not quite fall the people what? asked <laughs> pepsi delivered <laughs> wait what honestly it sounds good what does that okay. mean is it a drink is it a snack is so, it a- so there's three different types there's a marshmallow pepsi a chocolate bar Pepsi and a graham cracker Pepsi. I what? love it. So, okay, what do we do? Do we try them all individually and then mix them together and no. get the s'mores? You gotta mix Ooh, them. Yeah. You think mix. Oh. Also, the only bad thing is they expired <laughs> <laughs> a year ago. Should we take a little sippy? I we think everyone can. should get one. I selfishly want to taste them individually, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We can mix okay. them. Chocolate. Are you gonna pass that around? Well, I'm gonna birdie it. Oh, waterfall? Is Little that what Larry, a birdie is? Larry Bird. <laughs> uh oh. Cool, I'm gonna go ahead and just wait for the mix. <laughs> <laughs> How about you just try it? Is it chocolate? I feel like I'm gonna like it. So you guys try graham cracker. Ryland, you're gonna you and Chris are gonna try toasted marshmallow. Ready? Ooh. Damn, that one sounds good. Oh my god. Good. How am I gonna open it? Uh that Ooh. day is grand. Oh. <laughs> is this chocolate? How is it? That's graham cracker. Oh. Did it's not as bad as I thought it was going to taste. Not, this is what I thought like chocolate might taste like. It tastes like, like Pepsi actually. to me. That oh. doesn't have taste any, like anything. Any There's an aftertaste. Yeah. It's light. It tastes like vanilla Coke to me. I put some in here. Why not? Mm. It kind of tastes like Pepsi with like a little cream soda in there. Ooh. A little bit. It's not, not bad. against that. Like yeah. a hint. Like a, But it's basically just Pepsi. I'm but into like, that. Okay. So let's start mixing. I'm going to put some chocolate. I'm good. Okay. okay. You want to try this? Yeah, I want to mix it for sure. I want to try chocolate. Graham cracker. Yeah, I, I don't know about the chocolate flavor. Rylan, have you got marshmallow yet? Yeah. Ooh, it smells good as fuck. It smells like an alcoholic beverage. Yeah, actually. it smells like a Jack and Coke. Chocolate. One of them tasted. No, that's to mix. That makes sense. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> One of them tasted Wait, like you... coffee. Graham cracker and chocolate taste the same. You have to mix they them. They all taste the same. You didn't mix any no. of them. They, I mixed them. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try this s'more. It's not bad together. <laughs> Whoa. I don't think it's bad. It tastes like Jack and Coke. Yeah. I haven't had a Jack and Coke in like probably mm. almost 15, 20 years. But I have them when I does. go to the baseball games and it does taste like a Jack and Coke. You know, yeah. Is this fucking how they were smuggling Jack and Coke? In Do we have the, whiskey? Uh, mm. Wait, it's good. And it's expired a year ago. Individually, they suck, but together they're great. That's us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it just because I don't like the taste of alcohol, and that's what it reminds me oh. of. But I can see it being good if you like it. Um, um, okay, so as you guys know, it is pumpkin spice season, so I have some oh, pumpkin yeah. items for us to try. Jared, you're gonna love this. So obviously, you guys know pumpkin spice lattes are the thing. The PSLs, baby. Earlier when I said PSL, do you? I thought you meant. Well, because there's a thing people say like, oh, look, they got DSL or you know, someone has D. That means dick like sucking lips. Yeah, so I thought it was just <laughs> penis sucking lips. <laughs> no, it's that, it's okay. that time wow. of the year. So we have the so battle to end all battles. We okay. got Starbucks PSLs mm-hmm. because those are the icons. And we got Jared's favorite place, 7-Eleven. <laughs> they have their own PSL. Of course, they invented it. And if this is approved, <laughs> like if the 7-Eleven one tastes better than Starbucks, that means it's a cheap hack. Because I'm sure this was like, only a dollar seventy nine for the huge cup. Wow. Jared, you have to wait. Oh my bad. Jared, I can't help that. myself with <laughs> the big gold <laughs> cups in my hand. Wait, how many points is this? Oh, I, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> that one done till Christmas. more than the daily oh, life. Yes. Wayne in next week. <laughs> I think Starbucks. we should start with Starbucks since it's oh, yeah. the OG. Yeah, since it's the rainy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seven gonna... Eleven been in the game a minute. Wait, I should have no. done a blind taste test. I'm so stupid. Huh? Are you girls ready? One, the two, three. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's so good. 
That's going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like 10 p.m. right now. <laughs> Does it taste oh. that pumpkin-y? Wow. Yes, you don't taste that punk. Hold on. Oh. Let me get to the bottom. It's so get good. Get that punky punk. Mm. Mm. I'm not overwhelmed with the seasonal spice. That's oh, I see what you're I'm Some not people... a fan of the Starbucks one. Really? How dare you? Uh, okay, now let's try the big Ooh. gulp. This is a 7-Eleven pump. Ooh, it's Make watery. sure you don't cheat by getting the whipped cream from the Starbucks yeah. into the 7. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, it's good. Oh. Uh, but it tastes fake. <laughs> it's thick. It tastes chemical, like chemical. Oh. Okay. Oh. How's it so thick? It tastes like a air freshener, toilet spray. Yes. Why is it thick? Like when you shit and you spray too much and you breathe it in. It's really sweet, but it tastes like chemicals. Okay, Do I, will... I hate pumpkin spice lattes? I will. <laughs> yeah, that's thinking the same thing. <laughs> I like the texture better. It's creamier. It's but the thick. flavor is gross. Oh no. I may need to get it with the straw. I love pumpkin though, like pumpkin bread. I just I just gotta say it, I think Starbucks wins by far I for me. Me too, that's like, so dirty of us. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, I would pass on both of them. <gasps> I'm more of a cold brew with a pumpkin cold Try foam. Try straw. Sweet cream cold it's, brew it's or straight cold experience. brew? Straight cold brew, but with the pumpkin foam. Like, oh. like it's like the cold foam yeah. or the what wow. do they call it? I feel like I'm watching a date. <laughs> I and this is I, my princess. Yeah, <laughs> I think I like the Seven Eleven one better. Yeah, this is not just because I think I'm not a huge PSL guy. Yeah, he's more of a general, GSL guy. But if someone were like, which one do you want to drink more? I kind of like the wow. uh, Starbucks. Yeah. I like the Seven Eleven. Okay. okay. Wow. But only with the straw. I didn't like sipping it. Okay. Sipping it was gross. Um, okay. Well, that was fun. <gasps> oh, my God. Sorry. I, I don't mean to scare you, but I'm looking at your walls right now. Oh, they're so bare and so boring. It's like prison. You know what you need in your room right now? Some displays. <laughs> Sorry. I'm on one tonight. I'm on my Oogie Juice. And it's really getting to me. So if you don't already know, Display is a one-of-a-kind metal poster, and they make so many different designs. They have Marvel, DC, Netflix, movies, games, anything you can think of, they have awesome posters for, including our podcast. So I love Display, and I love how easy it is and how it doesn't mess up your walls. Because if you're like me, I'm really indecisive. I'll hang something, and then I'll be like, ugh, never mind, I don't like it. And then I'll have to rip the nail out of the wall, and then Riley gets mad at me and turns into a fight, and it's a whole thing. But with Display, they make it so easy. All you have to do is use this little wipe, you clean where you're going to put it you put the magnet and then you pop your display right on and it's that easy and they have so many designs so you can really just create a cool collage they have different sizes so like you can have small ones and bigger ones i have a ghost faced one i have different horror movies and obviously i have my podcast one that i have in the back of my videos and i just love them also it ships very fast and easy it's four to five days they ship worldwide and they're giving you guys percentages off so let me explain so if you buy one to two designs you'll get 20 percent off and if you buy three or more designs you'll get 30 percent off all you have to do is go to display.com slash shane dawson and use code grower at checkout that's display.com slash shane dawson and use code grower. Also, if you get any from the podcast, please take a picture of them like on your walls and send them to us, Shane Dawson Podcast stuff at gmail.com so we can show them in the show. All right, I'm going to go. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the episode and a good spooky season. I don't think I'm going to see you until after Halloween is over. That's sad. But yeah, hopefully um, you have a good time. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye. So have you guys heard of the pink void? <laughs> Sorry, the pink void. Oh I didn't person. realize how gross that sounds. Out of a giant? Like, no, no. Okay, so this was uh, sent in to us from Sarah. So there's a conspiracy going viral right now about Disney princesses. Now, if you've ever seen Disney princesses together, <laughs> like in a All group, the time. In a group, yeah. Like today. Yeah. If you ever see them together, they're always in a pink void. What and they're that? never looking at each other. They're never interacting with each other. And they're just floating in this pinkness. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. So you see what oh. I'm saying? There's the three of princesses and they're floating in this pink void. And you look over here, here's some more princesses floating in this pink void. Uh, you look here, they're in a house, but the house is also in a pink void. None of them are interacting. They're not touching each other, not looking at each other. And then you look here, adorables. What the fuck are those? I don't know, but they're floating in the pink void. Okay. Okay. So I know what you're thinking. Well, yeah, Disney's just cheap and they Photoshop them all together and they make it pink because it's a girl and like whatever, who the fuck cares, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, but when you look on other Disney properties, it's different. So if you look here on this coloring book, right, you have all the Disney characters, but they're in their own little circles and there's like a color in the background. And 
you know, it's more obvious. Like they're in like circles. They're in their own world. They're in they're their defined. own defined world. Same thing here with Pixar. They're yeah. in their own defined worlds. They're not just floating around in a pink void. And then here, same thing. They're floating in their pink void. Oh. Okay, so I really did fall down a hole about this because I'm like, this is really weird. Why, why is this? Why can't they be, I don't know, floating in the sky or hanging out together? Why can't they be like, you know, huddled up? They're supposed to be friends, right? Yeah. They're all princesses, but they're not. They're all floating yeah. in a pink void. <laughs> why is Disney keeping women floating in the pink void, baby? Here's what I think. Did oh, we, are did, you not gonna tell oh, us? Oh, are you not gonna tell us? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, let Sandy. Here's what I think. Mm. Um, I think because they are own like they're the they're the center of whatever movie that they're in, so they're not looking at each other because they're trying to like stand out of they're like the star. They're, they're the star. Oh. So they just happen to be grouped up, but they're still like showing off their star vibe. But they're all like Mariah Carey. Exactly. <laughs> they're all, right. they're all to be. I just love this. I love that somebody <laughs> saw something like that and then was walking around like a couple of days later and yeah. saw something with princesses and yes. thought, wait a second, <laughs> wait a second. And then we're Googling it and they're like, it's all fucking pink. Oh my God. Yes. And it like shook them to the core to the point where they thought of this. Like, this is great. Uh, but I would say, I think it's because the princesses have their own whole like vibe in general. You know what I mean? Right. Like Disney princesses, I think. Um, yeah. You know, because they, they, they live in their own worlds, don't right. they? Well, so they're in they the, can't interact. They're in the same cinematic universe, but I agree with Sandy. They all have to be the star of their own show. So yeah. They can't but shouldn't they interact with each other to show girls that girls can be friends with each other and yeah. share their girl power? Like hugging Why are we hands. keeping them in the pink void? Well, that's well, coming up. That's what we have Frozen. Dude, it just hit me how deep this really is. Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> The Shout wound. out to the, to the soldier that put in work to bring So is there us. an answer? Well, I am going to ruin it for you because this was going like viral, viral. I got a lot of emails about this. And everybody's like, oh my God, look into this. And then um, I very quickly looked into it and very quickly found out that uh, there is a coloring book where all the princesses <laughs> are taking a selfie together. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I guess this kind of falls flat. <laughs> <laughs> they are no longer in the pink void, and Dude, they're hanging out. Imagine how the person felt when they put all that work into the research. <laughs> and then they found this. I know. But now I just feel bad for that person that I, I was hyping up. Um, okay, yeah. So pink void, we have debunked it. Uh, this was thank God. This we're doing next the work. one. This next one was sent in by Jared. So Jared, you sent me a commercial. I've not watched it yet, but you said watch this and tell me how weird this I'm is. Trying to think of what it was. Tattoo game has officially changed. So long the days of searching for tattoos on the internet. Download Wonder AI and create unique tattoos that nobody else is going to have just by using your words. Okay, wait. So Why was there a fart sound? <laughs> there was a That's fart sound? very weird. I, I don't know the why fart. the fart sound. Okay, but the thing is, so this was on a YouTube uh, short. And you know, it's sometimes you get caught up in like the scroll and you're going through them. And I've thought for a while now with AI the way that it is, there will be a point where people could just license their images. You know, like, oh, you want me to do a sponsor for you? Just use my likeliness and you could, here, run it through an AI machine for the voice. And then you could just pay me for using my likeness. And Wait, I don't understand. So, so, so like, to, to, to put it in perspective, there's no way Snoop that Snoop Dogg is it? You what? Know? But that's was no. that wasn't actually Snoop Dogg. That's like an I, AI generated whoa, Snoop whoa, Dogg, whoa. and then even the voice isn't Snoop Dogg. It's a AI generator to sound like Snoop Dogg. But not even just but the sound. They created the visuals of Snoop Dogg saying the thing. Snoop Dogg could have been approached, and he said, "Hey, yeah, you can make it look like me and sound like me. I don't care." But it's like. I'll charge you five grand and go ahead and use my image. So that was an AI Snoop. Yes. Sorry. If you're an actor, that you don't even need to go on set. They'll just right. use your likeness, yeah. and then with AI, they'll just generate well, the whole movie. Well, and eventually and eliminate the actors altogether, well, which is a large point is. of contention in the strike. But yeah. like yeah. this video is just like. Um, if, if there was phases of how the, how it's gonna look, this would be like the first phase, right? Somebody used AI generated Snoop. It sounds like his voice. And if you're scrolling for 20 minutes or whatever through shorts, your brain ain't even on like, you know, the, the most high level. You're just looking at stuff. You could think that Snoop Dogg and it can make somebody actually I thought it was Snoop well, Dogg. AI, I wanted a tattoo, you know? AI's got so crazy. Have you seen uh, clips from that Will Smith movie, uh, Gemini Man? I haven't. He's AI. Like he plays himself so, now, so, but then there's a past Will Smith in the oh, whole movie and he's yeah. completely AI. He's yeah. not real. 
Well, yeah. and people didn't, they were like, oh, wow, how'd you get the makeup on Will to make him look younger? It's like, no, it's literally not real. It looked pretty good. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, see, that's even, a, that's like them proving the concept. Do they we even do have it. to do this? Can are we, just... we, are <laughs> we doing this? Well, yeah. Did, did you ever see the Audrey Hepburn commercial? Oh, yeah. And yeah. that looked just like her and she'd, she's gone. She'd be dead for a very long yes. time. And they did like a Dove commercial with Audrey Hepburn. It's weird. Um. Okay. So this next one, I don't think this will get me in trouble. Okay. I'm just going to start with this. Uh, the flat earth theory. Uh, <laughs> I still get people, dude, you're a flat earther. <laughs> now I'm okay. We're not saying it's real. We're not saying the earth is flat. Everything is fun. We're just playing around. Like we're not, we're not, we're not spreading plane, an agenda. You know it is. <laughs> the shape of the earth is not that important. How about that? There we go. Who gives a shit? Okay. Right? Well, this started going viral and I got a lot of emails about this. Uh, so it took me a second to understand what was happening. This is a kind of a slow burn. So just grab a snack and we're going to watch this woman together. <laughs> she she okay. looks serious. Here we go. So I was on Twitter this. I know. I actually just think I've thought about it, and now it's I'm not because that's scared where anymore. the Earth actually is rounded and curved. Right. So there is because yeah. you're at the very like yeah at the northernest and southernest. Wait, point. yeah, that's why. <laughs> so as much Wait, as this lady night. probably had forty water talks this day and thought this was a good idea. I think it actually would pr prove the Earth is not flat if that's Wait, what you're, you're going right. for. Wait, you're right. Because last night I was watching this at like four in the morning and it was sketching me the fuck out because I was like, what's going on? Why can't they Dude. measure it? Because the whole point is if they can't measure it, it's because it's actually a wall around the perimeter of the flat Earth. What? But what you said makes more sense. A wall? Yeah. Like they're locking us in. I think yes. like we are the Truman Show. Yes. Anything at four in the morning with that music behind it throws the shit out of me. Yeah. It for a second. be like dogs playing. And I'll be like, oh my God. I remember yeah. someone said that they should make a reality show where they give a group of people who believe the earth is flat like a ton of resources and money and like follow them around to try to find like the end or whatever. And I was yes. like, that would be such oh my a God. good show. <laughs> I want to do that. I would watch it regardless yeah. of what I'm mean. like. It's just a good show. National Geographic did that and it was like one episode and they <laughs> pretty quickly proved it was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they would, already did I was, it? I was actually invited. <laughs> Uh, to, to, to go and like check it out, and I was like, no, 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 no. Wow. <laughs> Wait, you're but it was a late, it, it, it was a, a no, no, no. Uh, it's, it's an interesting topic, but it's a laser they shined from one end of a river to the other end of the river. And when they're like, all right, guys, we won't see anything. The earth is flat. And of course, it was like right on. You, like oh. the earth is round, you know. What I mean? yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a laser. That's why it's wow. a, that's why it's at a different height, you know. Yeah. Like it's funny it to see quick. you talking about this, considering you could just fly around it and look. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I mean, if we're talking personal experience, I've seen it. <laughs> right, right. I've been to infinity and, and beyond. beyond. Um, okay, this is really random. 
<laughs> but I just wanted to talk about this because I can't believe this is a thing. Have you heard of the Las Vegas Hotel Death Ray? No. Oh, I'm so happy I get to show you guys this. Uh, okay, what do I do? How do I start? Okay, I'll just start with a news clip. Sounds exciting. <laughs> it's wild. I love Las Vegas. This is gonna Me too. Ruin it. All right, so if I told you I'm sitting out by the pool and it was so hot, all of a sudden I could smell my hair burning, you think I was setting up for the punchline. No, this was no joke. This was an attack by the death ray. When it first started happening and, I, and then I laid down, I actually thought that, oh my God, we've destroyed the ozone layer layer because I am being burned. And it wasn't until I ran under the umbrella and saw that there was no shade, that's when it dawned on me. But I could not understand why I was getting burned. William Pinta survived both his trip to Las Vegas and the death ray. He was laying out by the pool at the Vidara Hotel in Las Vegas. I was sitting in my chair for maybe 30 seconds. And I understand on now. My head was steaming hot. In fact, my hair felt like it was burning. I could, I could, I could actually smell my hair burning. Oof. And above my head, I felt like I had a chemical burn or something was wrong. I couldn't understand it, I, so I just like laid down on my chair. And at that point, the back of my legs and my back started burning. Now, the Vidara is an impressive structure covered with glass. Because of the curved shape of the hotel, sunlight is intensified and reflects the oh at the God. pool. Thus, <laughs> the death ray. It was all bright. And that was when I, I looked up and I saw all the light, the reflection of the sunlight coming off of the Vidara. Okay, so... Let me show you this picture. Oh God, so bad. the way that they built this building, right, was it's all glass and it's curved. Yeah. But they didn't do the science, I guess, or like, I don't know who was supposed yeah. to do that. But the sun hits it and then reflects back right onto the pool area. Super magnified. Uh. Yes. And it heats up the area. Don't sue me. This isn't confirmed. It heats up the area up to 20 degrees hotter than it already is, which is like 110 sometimes in, in Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, Vegas yeah. gets so hot. So here's a picture of somebody that had a Vidara, like, you know, plastic bag with something in it, and it melted the fucking bag. Whoa. Wow. I don't remember where it is, but there was another example of this, and it was like melting car fucking rearview mirrors. Yes. Like it's- Yes, it's I heard bad. about that. Yeah. For a plastic cup to melt, which plastic cups were melting in the Vidara pool area. It has to be 160 oh degrees. <laughs> this guy's hair's fucking burning, dude. Imagine it's how hot it got for your steamy. hair to burn okay, off your head. So they spent million, probably $100 oh. million dollars making the Vidara Hotel, right? They're not just going to knock it down. So you know what they did to fix this? What? They just put up umbrellas. You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So if it's you're still there. It's still there. If you go to the Yelp for the Vidara, it's all people like got burned no Look at my way legs. yes wow. still though don't sue me probably a great hotel. is it just that hotel uh, or is it because there's the curve because there's so many windows and reflections like all over vegas i I'm guess like, is they everyone have architects that like do the check science. the tea like oh, whatever shout yeah. out to those umbrellas because the winds also curve <laughs> right? probably have yeah, to change those, those out yeah made out of steel <laughs> 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 well speaking of the hottest place on earth Let's get to the recap. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, your titties are gone. Lights, camera, action. Ryland's recap is about to happen. Oh, yeah. Ryland's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, I'm definitely fighting with Chris. Ooh. Oh. This is real. <laughs> this is serious. He's gaslighting me. Yep. No. Although... He was quick on his feet and made up an excuse. No. I don't believe this motherfucker. He has it out for me, and this is payback for Ooh. every time I've pissed him off. I'm sorry, Ooh. my princess. Ooh. Ooh. Chris had, oh, Chris had drama at the ER. Oh, <laughs> Hashtag oh, pray for Chris. That's like serious news. <laughs> well, put on your serious voice. Okay. Hashtag pray for Chris. Our sweet prince has gone to the ER, and we think he's okay. Somebody's calling me. <laughs> it's the doctor. You're fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yay. Okay, keep praying, though. Um, oh, Jared's going to use a butt plug. <laughs> Jared has slipped. Sources are not reliable. In the best slip of the night, Jared revealed too much about his sex life, stating Sandy wants to experiment with butt plugs on her husband, Jared. Yeah. Use a lot of lube. Go slow. Her Whoa. straight friends do it. They seem to love it. I'll get you a fake butt to play with. <laughs> <laughs> but not on Amazon, because they'll sell you used ones. Yeah. Yes. If come filled used things, 
are your preference. Amazon's your go-to site. They have <laughs> no standards on what they'll send you as new. Uh, oh, uh, Jared and Sandy are experimenting <laughs> with Weight Watchers. <laughs> Today in health and wellness, Jared and Sandy have started Weight Watchers following in Oprah Winfrey's steps. Yes, they may be 80 points over. <laughs> But they're doing <laughs> just fine. Hey, that was just Jared. That was just Jared. Oh, just Jared. <laughs> Sandy's, Sandy's on fine. her back. She actually has rollover points left over. Her salad was like 120 <laughs> points over. Daily it was I still dressing. got five points. Uh, from today. Oh, the pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> oh. PSL. The Shane Dawson podcast sets out to find the best PSL and... <laughs> All of them kind of suck. <laughs> no, Starbucks is so good. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? You like that perfume ass drink? Um, Las Vegas is killing people with their hotel death ray. <laughs> in death news, and Las Vegas is heating up this summer. Not killing people. No. Burning people. Yes. That are fine. That stay at the Veranda Hotel. <laughs> Remind people to send photos for a new segment, Sibling oh, or Dating. Right. Are you a little too close to your sibling? <laughs> or do you just love your boyfriend? Send us photos and see if we can determine if it's just your sibling or your lover. I don't feel comfortable with how that was going. <laughs> I like that. If you look like you could be related to your significant other, right? Yeah. That's the thing? But yeah. hey, whatever. Or, I like that. I think the people you don't that get a we're bonus questioning points. are going to be like, ah. You don't get a bonus point for being both. See right. if you can trick us. Oh, uh, um, the earth is not flat, weirdly enough. <laughs> Thanks, TikTok. Oddly enough, sitting with two flat earthers, <laughs> they seem to come to terms with the earth being round. Oh, uh, we have our new audio-only podcast. Mm -hmm. Content alert! <laughs> if you're looking for an audio-only podcast while you walk your dogs, plug your butt, or do anything fun, you can listen to Fights with Shane and Ryland, found on the Shane Dawson podcast audio feed. Or... Exclusive news alert. Woo, woo, woo. Jared came up with an idea last night for a Jared and Sandy podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Couple goals. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll just be you can send questions about relationships. And if we can, we'll answer them and we'll try to help out. And you no. guys can help us out. I know? thought the way you were talking about it in the kitchen last night was very insightful because you're like, we've been in a very long term relationship. Yeah. We know what it's like for the ups and the downs. So when people submit like, oh, this is what I'm going through. You as a couple who have with withheld oh. time. Yeah. Right. It yeah. would be nice. Yeah, right. I said it in like the most best way I could have ever said it. About, <laughs> right. about our love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Chris's audio only podcast is still in the works. Uh, working title, Gay Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll wrap it up, baby. All right. Well, there you guys have it for this week's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast. Make sure you're listening on all your audio platforms and watching and enjoying on YouTube. Make sure you shop your Shane Dawson merch at shanedawsonmerch.com. They're tropical, they're beautiful. They're retro. They're fun. Check it out. Um, and make sure you're following all of us on social media. And we'll see you right back here in two weeks on the Shane Dawson Podcast. Wow. Amazing job. That was great. That was all great. right, guys. Go. Hope you had uh, fun with us on the happiest place on earth. Right? Is that what yeah. you yes. call it? Yeah. The couch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, dreamers. Or believers. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, team. <laughs> Oh man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.